Hello everyone, Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity here with your first weekly update of 2018. It is Friday, January 5th. Wow, the stock market's just gapped up, gapped up, kept going up. I think we're in the blow-off phase of these bubbles. Uh, it's just going to be astonishing to watch. Listen, you know, the German markets are up, the European markets are up, emerging markets are up, Japanese markets are up, U.S. markets are up. Through all of that, you have to ask... Why are the central banks still printing at emergency levels? Over $100 billion a month still pouring in. Margin debt's exploding. Everything's just exploding. So, hey, this is the fun part of the bubble. Everybody's getting rich. And nowhere more so than in the cryptocurrency space. Listen, this is a really exciting area. I truly believe that there's some technological developments here that are going to help us do things faster, better, cheaper. Hey, look, if we can come up with an electronic payment system that allows us to bypass some of the predatory, immoral bankers that exist out there or other companies that charge exorbitant fees to simply move money digits from one place to the next, which costs them nothing, by the way, uh, really, you know, except for their own overhead and desire to make a profit. If we could have a medium of exchange, go back and forth between people and disintermediate, big word for, leave the banks out of that system. Hey, I'm all for it, but the cryptocurrency space is is much more than about cryptocurrencies. It's really should be called digital assets because there are other things in there like using um, the same sort of technology to secure your identity, like with all of the Equifax hacks and you know, all the trouble you have with maybe getting passports or worrying about your identity theft. What if you had a way of being absolutely certain that your identity was yours and couldn't be taken? Well, that's an example of one of the technologies, excuse me, that's coming along that would roughly fall into the same area of technology and software development that's fueling and funding Bitcoin. So, hey, we're holding a webinar this Sunday, January 7th at 12 noon Eastern with one of the foremost uh, cryptocurrency slash digital asset experts out there, Mark Rees. He's been a member of the site for a while, and he spent many years really going in deep on this. He's been uh, following this every step of the way. And unlike some of the people out there who will just be sort of bullish and unsophisticated about why you should be in cryptocurrencies, Mark knows the good from the bad. He can separate the, the ugly from the, from the awesome. And there's some ugly things out there. Number two on the current cryptocurrency page right now, the number two in total market cap and value is something called Ripple. Trades under the symbol XRP. If you actually understood what that cryptocurrency is and is not, it's not Bitcoin. It doesn't function the same way. Once you understand the technology a little bit, you gain that sophistication, you can clearly look at it and go, "Uh, no, that ain't the one. So how would you pick which ones you would want to invest in or not want to invest in? And I'm using that word carefully, invest. If you want to speculate, if you just want to chase things that are going up in price, <clears throat> go ahead and, and buy Ripple. Uh, get in on that. Uh, you know, Get as much as you can because it's, it's going up. But if you want to understand that this is a brand new world of digital assets that are going to help us do things faster, better, cheaper. Remember, no new technology is useful unless it helps us do things faster, better, and or cheaper. So there are plenty of things out there in this new space that that fit that bill, but you got to be educated. And this is a complex area. It's not easy understanding what's happening. And oh, by the way, it's developing and changing at an incredible pace. So how do you keep track of all that? How do you get grounded in all that? Where do you start? Well, if you are just starting out, try the webinar. This is a great place where we're, again, going to assemble the best experts we can. I'll be hosting and moderating that doing my usual uh, devil's advocate, asking the questions you were afraid to ask yourself. And of course, you will also have the chance to pose your own questions, which may get answered if we can get to them uh, during the webinar, because this is an interactive platform that we like to use. So uh, that's pretty exciting. We're going to take a look at that. And as well, keep your eye, keep your eye on the commodity complex. This is really starting to go. What do I mean by commodity complex? Oil, Uh, grains, metals, base metals, precious metals. Take a look at this. We're really starting to see some movement here. I think that's what's going to be the tip-off that we're starting to enter the final blow-off phase of this bubble. It's going to be extraordinary. This is the mother of all bubbles. 
and it's going to have one of the most extraordinary launches that we're ever going to see. It's going to be amazing and then very destructive. So here I am recording this in Massachusetts. We just had um, a storm that underwent bombogenesis, dumped a lot of snow, a lot more than we thought. Bitterly cold right now because we have this other feature called the polar vortex. Why am I telling you this? Because people, you have to be prepared. We just don't know what the world's going to be throwing at us. And so when these bubbles burst, they're going to undergo their own bombogenesis. Uh, you know, the conditions that the central banks have set up are guaranteed to fail at some point. And we just don't know when, but we can know that they will. So with that, hey, I will see you next week. Let's look forward to an extraordinary 2018. Remember, get prepared and uh, stay prepared. With that, I will see you next week. Signing off, Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity. <laughs>